The digital rectal examination, quite simply, some people might think of it as a rebranding of the old PR or per rectum examination, and it's the examination that involves a digit or finger into the rectum. Two main reasons that a DRE is done, main clinical reasons. Firstly, and the one I won't be focusing on as much today is for various gastrointestinal symptoms. Although, on that note, it's a really good idea to have a quick feel of the prostate gland when a man's having an examination for GI symptoms. Firstly, because it would be a shame to miss the opportunity to feel a suspicious prostate gland. Secondly, obviously it helps us get familiar with the various sizes of prostate glands that we might feel. And thirdly, if that gentleman does later present with urinary tract symptoms, well, he's already had the prostate examination. But that's obviously the, the main cause that I'll be talking about today for having the examination done, and that's to have the prostate examined. And we should be able to get a fairly good feel of the size and surface of the prostate gland. Right, Mr. Jones, first of all, if it's okay, as I said, I'm just going to examine your tummy first. Okay. So to do that, if it's all right, if you just lower your trousers down a little bit and, and pull your shirt up. And this is just so I can see if I can feel your bladder at all. Okay, thank you. So I'm just going to feel first of all. Okay, is that all right? That's fine. All right, and then I'll just tap as well to see if I can hear it. That all feels fine. Right, and as I said before, and now I'm just going to have a quick look at your penis, because obviously that's what you pee through. Okay. So I'm just having a quick look there. That all seems okay. Right, and now the prostate, as I said. So to do this, first of all, I need you to roll over onto your left side, if you would, so you end up facing the wall. Great, and as you're doing, that's it. Bring your knees so they're really tucked up into your chest. Chin down your chest, wonderful, all tucked up in a ball. So I'm just going to obviously put lots of gel on my finger, so that'll make it slightly easier for you. And now we're all ready to go, so I'll go nice and slowly. If you're able just to push gently against my finger, that'll make it slightly easier for you. I know it's easy for me to say, but try and relax those muscles a bit. Okay, that's as far as we need to go, so I'm just going to feel around the rest of your bottom there. And now I will press forward gently onto your prostate gland. As I said, that might make you feel like you need a pee, but it won't last long. I'm just feeling all over the prostate gland there. And that feels fine, no nasty lumps or bumps or anything there. And that's it. So I'll just come out nice and slowly. And we're done. I'll just wipe some of that gel off for you. And tissue there if you need it. I'll just go and get my gloves off, you can get yourself together and we can have a chat. Okay. Okay. For the forced manoeuvre, the patient takes a deep breath in to maximal inspiration, pauses briefly and then breathes out as hard and as long as they can. And it's a good idea to encourage them all the way. Keep going, keep going, keep going.